Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a cinnamon roll cake. Oh yeah baby, and this is not my recipe. I saw this thing on the internet the other day and it looked awful good so I decided I'd make it. Okay, what you're going to do is put three cups of flour in a bowl and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half cups of cold milk, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one half cup of butter melted. All right, now once you get all that in there, I want you to get your mixer out and just mix far out of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just mix it up there really good. And when it, when she all comes together real nice and it's kind of smooth, set that aside and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make us another one, okay? Now, for this other one, we're gonna need a cup of butter softened. That's two sticks where I live, okay? And then one cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Get our mixture out, you don't have to clean it or nothing. Just get that baby out there and uh, stir away with it, you know what I'm saying? Get her all mixed up together too, all right? Now, when we get this mixed together, we're gonna go over to a 13 by nine baking pan and we're going to start by putting our first mixture in. See how it's kind of thick? That's good. Just kind of move it around with your spoon. And don't worry, you know, if you have problems like that in the edges and the corners just like that, those spots that don't fill in, don't worry, it ain't a problem at all. Now you come in when you get her spread out like that with your second mixture. And as you can see, it's got the brown because of the brown sugar that we put in there and the cinnamon okay now when you get it in there this is the simplest cake I ever, I'm telling you folks unbelievable once you get all this stuff dumped in there I want you to get you a knife I got a little steak knife there and just swirl the fire out of it and kind of make it look like cinnamon rolls you know what I mean and then put her in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna bake it for approximately 30 minutes and then in another little bowl, I want you to put two cups of powdered sugar and start out with approximately six to seven tablespoons of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now folks, be careful with that milk. It goes a long way. And once I had mine made up there, I put it in a little pouring thing so I could pour it on my cake when my cake's done. All right. 30 minutes later, there's what my cake looked like, all spongy and beautiful. You can feel it. You can tell it's done when you look at it. You just take that glaze that you just made and just kind of be artistic with it. It's what I'm doing. You can, see I, you can see I never did real good in art, but just pour it over the top and let it, warm, let it cool off. And hey, <laughs> my wife and I, we normally don't eat sweets. We ate this whole dang cake, and we almost fought over the last piece. It was so good. Light, fluffy, easy to make, about 35, 40 minutes maximum. You got to give it a try, I'm telling you. And it's not mine. This is one of the one of the few, very few uh, recipes that I've made that's not mine at all, but it's awesome. That's all I can tell you. It's a super awesome cake. Give her a try, folks, and I'm pretty sure you will like it. You know what I mean? Hey, thanks for watching, y'all. Watching High Def anytime. And have a good day. Bye.